In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Today we celebrate the memorial of uh, St. Andrew Dunlac and his companions, the Vietnamese martyrs. I am offering this Mass for the repose of all the holy souls of purgatory. We have also been asked to pray today for a parishioner who is having a prenatal scan today. It's a very important one. At her last scan she was told there were complications with her pregnancy and so uh, she's asking us all to pray very hard for her today. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, source and origin of all fatherhood, who kept the martyrs St. Andrew Dunlac and his companions faithful to the cross of your Son, even to the shedding of their blood, grant through their intercession that, spreading your love among our brothers and sisters, we may be your children both in name and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. In my vision I, John, saw a white cloud, and sitting on it, one like a son of man, with a gold crown on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Then another angel came out of the sanctuary and shouted aloud to the one sitting on the cloud, Put your sickle in and reap. Harvest time has come, and the harvest of the earth is ripe. Then the one sitting on the cloud set his sickle to work on the earth, and the earth's harvest was reaped. Another angel, who also carried a sharp sickle, came out of the temple in heaven, and the angel in charge of the fire left the altar, and shouted aloud to the one with the sharp sickle, Put your sickle in, and cut all the branches of the vine to the earth. All its grapes are ripe. So the angel set his sickle to work on the earth, and harvested the whole vintage of the earth, and put it into a huge winepress, the winepress of God's anger. The word of the Lord. The Lord comes to rule the earth. Proclaim to the nations God is King, the world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness, let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad, let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice, all the trees of the woods shout for joy at the presence of the Lord, for he comes, he comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect, hold your heads high, because your liberation is near at hand. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. When some were talking about the temple, remarking how it was adorned with fine stonework and votive offerings, Jesus said, All these things you are staring at now, the time will come when not a single stone will be left on another, everything will be destroyed. And they put to him this question, Master, they said, when will this happen then, and what sign will there be that this is about to take place? Take care not to be deceived, he said, because many will come using my name and saying, I am he, and the time is near at hand. Refuse to join them, and when you hear of wars and revolutions, do not be frightened, for this is something that must happen, but the end is not so soon. 
Then he said to them, Nation will fight against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and plagues and famines here and there. There will be fearful sights and great signs from heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Receive, O Holy Father, the offerings we bring as we venerate the passion of the holy martyrs, so that amid the trials of this life we may always be found faithful and may offer ourselves to you as an acceptable sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. If you are glorified when your saints are praised, their very offerings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardour to their faith, to their endurance you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle the victory is yours, through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the host of angels cry out, and without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting of your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognising the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Andrew Dunlac and his companions, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and Alan our Bishop, and all the order of bishops, or the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our debt, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let's make an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by the one bread, as we commemorate the holy martyrs, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that, abiding as one in your love, we may merit by endurance an eternal prize, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. 